looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over my Team of the Week Week 5 prediction. Now, you guys have seemed to have been really loving this video. Now, in years past, you guys didn't really care for Team of the Week predictions for just about anyone, but I think this year with the the, the new system of what they're doing and how the legends could literally be so many things and the, every, the heroes like everything's so random like there's so much possibility to it it's really made these predictions interesting because usually what it was last year was like me six other youtubers whatever all said the same thing it's odell this week and russell wilson here like it was just obvious high score and fantasy player or i just best performance by far now there's so much variability to it that every video is different everyone gets a different take on who they think could be so i'm definitely enjoying it more I've been having a lot of fun actually making these Team of the Week predictions, so let's get into this one. Now, before we do get into the video, of course, we do have to give a shout out to the Poodle Squad for today's video. Now, if you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, you guys know the deal. Comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and of course, turn on that noti bell. Now, for today's shout out, it's Ja808Jam. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support on each and every video. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, guys, if you need coins to pick up anything for Team of the Week tomorrow, or you want to pick up the Team of the Week players directly, go over to MuttReserve.com. Everything's discounted still. You can go on there and pick up the thing you want exactly and directly what you want, including training. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your entire order. That's it for that. Let's get into the predictions, and let's start off with my low set people. Now, my low set people, I only did four this week because honestly, I couldn't find another two that I thought would really be worth putting on this list. But there's definitely four surefire guys I think will get it. Starting off with the first guy. Now, this first guy here, he, I, he could have gotten a hero, but other people had better games eventually by the end of the day. But Patrick Queen is definitely going to probably be getting a low card. Now, the only issue with Queen is that, of course, he is a Rick Premier, so, you know, they do try to limit what cards they give him. Now, Patrick Queen, if I'm not mistaken, does have a better overall card that he got an upgrade on at some point. It's right here, 81 middle linebackers. This is what we're working with right now. I think he can get one of the, uh, the low Team of the Week uh, set cards. So if he does, that'd be super interesting because, of course, then he would get like maybe an 86, 87 card or even an 85, 84. But the thing is, he doesn't have a power up, so I don't know how they're going to manage this. But he had a fumble return for a touchdown. Definitely deserve him getting a low one. And a Patrick Queen card probably have like an 88 speed on his next card. And we do have him as a rookie premier, so that would be super awesome for all you guys who have Queen. So hopefully we end up seeing him. Next one, this guy is so deserving of a card, guys. He is in contention right now for the number one receiver in the NFL. Now, not skill-wise, do not do do not quote me as saying that he is that. But in terms of fantasy and like the stats, he's putting up like raw numbers. He's in contention for number one wide receiver right now. Now, again, I don't think he's the most skilled one yet, but he does have a power up, and of course, he did just get an 89. So that's where it's going to be an issue. Now, I think they'll give him the the plus one on this thing. That's where I'm kind of leaning with this. Now, of course, he's got a card, but I think the plus one could be could be worth it. Or it could be dual, right? Because he has an 89, he has a 90, powered up. Maybe they could just give him a plus one on his overall, which I think would be so awesome, guys. If this Metcalf gets a plus one, he's like the most dominant receiver in Madden. He would, add, he would end up having like a 94 speed, which would be crazy. Now, hopefully, it's just, it's just a plus one, though. I don't think he's going to get like his... That's why I didn't give him his own Team of the Week card, because he just got a card that wouldn't make sense. Guys, yeah, coming on this list, after we had Metcalf and Queen, we now have Miles Sanders. Now, Miles Sanders had a great day. He had like two touchdowns, like 100 yards. Now, he does... His last card was a superstar MVP. I could see him getting a um like an 86 overall team of the week now again no power but i don't know how they'll manage that but he definitely is deserving of a card and a new miles sanders would be pretty decent because this miles sanders right here let's see what his speed was he had 84 speed in 82 if he even gets a little upgrade a bit like an 86 if he had a big upgrade probably like an 87 88 i don't know what route they're going to go with that but it'd be hopefully he does get a card because he's definitely deserving and has been playing up to it but moving on to the next one another guy's gonna probably get a card is mike davis mike davis has been killing it in his role filling in for christian mccaffrey cmc uh, he's been killing it. I don't think he's gonna be anything usable. It's probably like an 83 overall. I like, kind of like that uh that the, the Deatrice last week for the Patriots. Just like a low team of the week set piece. Not great. Just like a fill-in guy, but he is having great great weeks. Like he just had like let's see what it was here. He had 140 yards, 10 targets, 16 rushes, and a, and a receiving touchdown. Like he's been killing it. He's been a great rusher the last few weeks. He's been I think he's leading the league or up there for elusive rating. He's been great. That's better for that. Let's get into our bigger ones. Those are the ones I'm really excited to talk about. Now, of course, guys, for these, uh, the two legend heroes, we don't have anything to show you guys. No card art or anything. I'm just going to show you guys pretty much what is the top players at these positions currently so you guys can have an idea. So typically, guys, these cards have been 90 overall. I think this is the week they do take it into the 91 overall threshold spot. So I think that's where they knock it. I think they, I think they cross that, that spot and they go into 91s, which is super awesome. Now, here's the thing. They're going to be 91, so we're going we're gonna to compare over here. So I do think for the first guy, we're going to get Vontae Davis. So you guys remember he was with the Colts. 
He was in Miami, I believe, and I believe he was also in Buffalo where he retired mid-game, which is super funny. But moving on to cornerback, so Vontae Davis was never the speediest corner. He was more of like, he was more of a, just an overall skill guy, like man zone. He could usually do just about everything. I'm pretty sure Madden always had him doing about everything. Uh, now with Avante Davis, he probably have a similar to Cortland on Finnegan build, just a little bit better. So I'd imagine the same thing. If it's a 91, he probably gets a 90 speed as well, which is fine. And you power up and get him to 91. He probably ends up, he probably ends up being a play rec man zone and press threshold. He's going to hit all the thresholds with 91 speed. I see him being very similar to Cortland Sutton. And I do believe Vontae Davis is on the smaller side as well. This was for week 5, 2014. I believe he had a pick, uh, like a 30 yard return. And I think he had like two pass deflections, seven tackles. It was, it was a great week for him. I could see him getting a card. I love Vontae Davis. It would be nice to see him back in Madden. And he's one of the more recent retiree kind of guys. So um, it kind of fits the build of these team of the week players we've been getting. I think Vontae Davis would be super cool. A cool name to have back in Madden. But now moving on to the next guy for our legend heroes, I do think we could get Tory Holt. Now Tory Holt just makes sense. Hear me out here. Tory Holt is a guy that's been in Madden for a while, was our master last year, and hasn't made a single single appearance in Madden yet. And he did have a great, great week back in week five. Now, back in week five, he had 161 yards and two touchdowns here. And I believe that's all he did, but that's not like that's, you know, it's not saying a lot. And it's not like it's not saying a lot because, of course, 160 yards plus two touchdowns is amazing. He did really, really good. And, of course, like I said, back then, certain stats are bigger than they look now. Like, you know, like 161 and two touchdowns now is still big. But, like, we just had Claypool at four. It's like a weekly thing for people to be doing stuff like that now. But back then, like, it was just big to have 80 yards or 100 yards. Like, you have to always, like, ratio that in as well. Like, 161 two touchdowns is really the equivalent of right now having, like, 250 per se because it's just a pass heavy league now so those stats come a lot quicker than they used to come or easier i should say or just in more abundance of but anyways tory holt would probably be similar to reggie uh, reggie wayne more like a marvin harrison uh if anything he's a very similar to marvin harrison build now in my opinion though he's gonna probably be similar to reggie wayne just for comparison's sake here he's gonna be small he's gonna be like i think what is tory holt five foot eleven five foot ten he's gonna be tall uh, he's gonna be faster than wayne Similar route runner, lower catcher. So I imagine a Tory Holt car probably has a 91 speed, more than likely unpowered up. He probably ends up with like 80. He's going to be similar to Odell, if anything, actually, but better route runner probably. So he's going to have 91 speed, probably like 85 catching, 86 cast, catching traffic, 86 spec, and then he'll probably end up with high 80 route running across the board, powered up against the threshold. So going to be going to be very similar to like an Odell or Reggie Wayne here. Now for the, for the more exciting ones. The current hero of the week. Now, this hero, guys, if he does indeed get the card, he's going to be pretty good because of his just his frame alone. Now, I think that this hero could be Claypool from the Steelers. If I don't don't want to don't want to sound dumb, I believe it's Chase Claypool, right? Uh, Chase Claypool. If he gets this card, guys, he had four touchdowns and I believe like a hundred something yards. Four touchdowns and let's see right here, four four total touchdowns. One rushing, three receiving, 110 receiving yards, six rushing yards. He had a day. He's a rookie. It would be super fun. No rookie premiere though, which is great because when there's rookie premieres, you know EA likes to screw their cards. And he's six foot four, and he's fast. If his 70 overall has an 85 speed, guys, if he gets a 91 overall, team of the week hero, he would probably have a 92 speed or even a 93 speed. Of course, you can also power him up. So. He could probably get, like, again, for a plus 22 overall increase with power up, he probably ends up at like a 92, 93 speed plus power up, which would be 93, 94. If he does get that, guys, plus a six foot four frame, he doesn't seem to be the best route runner, but that's fine if he has 93, 94 speed with great catching and great after the, I'm assuming great after the catch ability, maybe decent. But this card could be super crazy with that six foot four frame. Everything, guys. He'll be crazy. He'll be like Randy Moss. He's going to be a Randy Moss type card. That would be so awesome if we saw him. I would love to see him. Give some love to the rookie out of pit. Um, it would be fun. I think it'd be a super fun card. And next, we guys, of course, we do have our LTD current. Now, so far out of all of them, Monte Davis and Torrey Holt are exciting. I think Claypool would be phenomenal. But this current one, I don't think it'd be the most flashy player. I don't think it'd be anything crazy. But it definitely would be well-deserving. And I think it would be it would be right up the alleyway of this guy considering... He hasn't had a card, honestly. Like, I'm not used to not seeing Drew Brees cards, who is going to be my week five LTD, currently still playing. Now, Drew Brees, I haven't seen, he hasn't gotten like any cards. He's just been chilling there with his little base lead, 85 overall. It's well deserving. Brees, of course, has a Hall of Fame resume. I could see it. I was going to go Peyton Manning, but I backed out of that one because I thought Drew Brees just, thought Drew Brees fit the bill a bit more. Now, a Drew Brees card, he had in 2009, he had 369 yards and four touchdowns. And again, less pass heavy back then. That was crazy. 
again still crazy but like we've seen we see Dak do it weekly we see uh we've seen Josh Allen do it weekly like it's a weekly thing not like a one-time performance back back you know back in like 10 years ago even like three or five years ago you you would see like one of those games every few weeks it's like whoa like now it's like all right how many quarterbacks had that week this week if you guys get what I'm saying but Drew Brees crazy game back then a LTD current version of Drew Brees would probably end up having I'd say he'd probably 92 overall of course so he'd probably end up having or 91 overall plus powered up probably ends up having only an 88 throw power pro and that's that's pushing it 88 throw power is probably the max we're seeing on him but he definitely ends up with like a 92 medium or like a 90 medium a 90 short and probably an 86 or 87 deep so he will hit every single threshold in terms of passing he'll end up with above 90 throw under pressure above 90 play action and a probably like an 83 84 throw on the run so he probably if he gets his ltd uh current you end up probably seeing if you see a pretty good breeze card it'll be super crazy accurate across the board low throw power though which kind of sucks but he's gonna have the short medium and deep threshold which not many quarterbacks have so that's definitely interesting and that's about it for this drew breeze card i mean again he's not mobile so don't necessarily go over there still a good card though what is his break sack of course that's i mean that's not like the most oh 41 jesus he's getting sacked if he gets touched but yeah not bad guys so those are my predictions for the week we got drew Brees, ltd current we got current hero chase claypool vontae davis week five tory holt week five and then lower set we got queen metcalf sanders and we have one other guy I'm, bl I'm blanking on him right now but that's about it hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did smash the like button i'm gonna be shouted out on the poodle squad make sure to smash the like button turn that noti bell boys next to the sub button Turn on notifications as well as comment down below Poodle Squad. Once you do all those things, you'll be entered to be shouted out. And of course, if you guys need coins to stack up for Team of the Week tomorrow, take advantage of the discounts. Use code Poodle for 15% off. And that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.